If you've ever looked up at a developing thunderstorm, you've undoubtedly realized that the weather we experience on the ground is almost entirely dependent on what's happening high in the sky. So it makes sense that in order for meteorologists to be able to accurately forecast the weather, they must first know how conditions are changing in the atmosphere's upper levels. The most accurate way to get this information is by releasing weather balloons. Twice per day at locations all across the United States and the world, weather balloons, just like this one, are released into the atmosphere. As they rise, weather instruments take measurements on temperature, moisture, pressure, and wind speed. This information is then sent back to the National Weather Service in real time, where forecasters analyze the data and make predictions based on what they find. The process of taking an upper air observation starts with the inflation of the weather balloon. The balloon is made of a thin layer of latex and is filled with either hydrogen or helium. When fully inflated, the balloon has a diameter of nearly three feet across and can carry weather instruments weighing up to eight pounds into the stratosphere. Next, the weather instrument is added. This box, which is called a radio sonde, contains sensors that are smaller versions of the same instruments that take weather readings on the surface. The box is attached to the balloon at the end of a long string so the instrument can swing freely and take accurate measurements. Finally, at the exact same time, weather stations all around the world will release their weather balloons. The balloons rise at a rate of about 20 miles per hour, and as they ascend, the decreasing atmospheric pressure causes the balloon to begin expanding. Weather balloons can reach altitudes of up to 100,000 feet, or nearly 20 miles high. At this height, the balloon stretches to nearly 30 feet across before the strain becomes too great and the balloon pops. Weather balloons are the primary source of data above the ground. They provide valuable input for computer forecast models, local data for meteorologists to make forecasts, and enhance research. Weather balloon data are used by forecasters worldwide from the National Weather Service through local TV weathermen. Without this information, accurate forecasts beyond a few hours would be nearly impossible. For the latest conditions and forecasts, please visit our website at www.weather.gov. You can also follow the National Weather Service on Facebook and Twitter at the addresses listed here.